multiple experiences that teachers and parents were complaining that their son didn't know how to read at all, felt stupid and dumb, was called stupid and dumb, and that they thought that there was something wrong with their brain. And so when I taught them, I taught them in two and a half hours. And that's just, and like you personally um, speak English, and I think you probably understand what I'm saying. But if you were to take the reading method, you would be amazed at how your fluency and how easy, and there wasn't a, tra you weren't translating anymore. You were just speaking. And uh, in fact, Linka is from Romania. Okay, and she uh, and she um, was also living in Budapest. So she speaks several Eastern European languages. And so I taught her the reading, or she went on the, our, our video, which is what we have now available, which is better than me. I want you to know that the video is actually better than me because we made it perfect. We didn't leave anything out. And maybe Linka could tell you about her experience. Nice. Linka, are you there? Can you hear me, Linka? Yes, yes, I can hear okay. you. Can you tell him about your experience being from Romania and then, and then learning the reading method and reading and, and, and speaking English? Uh, much easier and much faster. I can express myself much easier and much faster. And I can read much faster. Oh, that's really nice. Before. I'm curious now. I want to know how it works. It works well, very, very, very well. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what we're doing is we're teaching seven concepts. So there's seven concepts. And so think about seven. Okay, so if I tell you that my phone number is 858-945-5007, I've said it pretty slowly and accurate. You want to write it down. You go, Hold on a second. Let me write that down. But my phone number is 945-5007. And you can type that into your computer right away. So why is that? It's because your brain can work with seven, but it can't work with ten. So in school, they're teaching class after class. The brain doesn't have a clue what's going on. And they're teaching 14 and 15 different concepts. They're not giving a break. So what happens is we, we give them this, this seven concepts. We teach them six in 55 minutes. We give them a walk. They go for a walk for 15 minutes where they consolidate the information. And then they come back and they review it in their own way. They look at papers. They have it, the whole reading method that they've been watching on, on the video. And they study it in their own way, out loud, all or in all verbally. And then we move them into the exceptional sounds. And then we hand them a piece of paper that's actually about 20 pieces of paper that have 475 multi-syllable words on it and they read them for, and for the first time and they look at them sometimes they look at a word and go concentrate concentrate and they're surprised that it looks like that because they didn't know they knew the word they'd heard the word like you have a great vocabulary but you may not have always seen all those words in print and when you do you're you're, you're using our method and you're and, and, and it's going oh yeah and you're going like I can ask you a question right now when you're reading because you do read okay so and you've you've started to read English so um, when you're reading there are vowels in each word right there are vowels in each word can you hear me still yes I'm with you okay so there's vowels in each word so just you know because you're a reader now when are they those vowels long and when are they short how do you know well I've, the, always, I've always thought that in, in other languages, it's especially Latin languages, language I speak Portuguese, it kind of comes with the um, technique of learning the language. But for English, you literally have to know each word on a personal level. I tell my students, like, you really have to know enough is enough. There is no room for you to learn how to, to, to pronounce the GH. So, uh, like, I really, when I'm teaching down here, I always tell people, you have to read until you know intimately every single word in the in the English language there in my opinion there is no other way other than knowing a word and then right, okay. something you know like if, if there's other ways I would love to learn because English is really complicated for people who do not understand how the phone phonetic part works right and I don't want you to know that that's really really accurate so one of the things we do is we're, we're um, a conceptual phonetics uh, process but the question that i asked about the vowels being long and short have a standard rule that we teach and so that you no longer have to memorize a word ever you just have heard the word and you've used the word and you've heard it in conversation and then when you look at it you just read it um you don't have to memorize it anymore meaning the brain doesn't have to store all that because we 
show you exactly when a vowel is long or short. And when you look at the word, you look at it and you immediately know that that vowel is going to be long or short. And so that's one of the really uh, major part of what our reading method is about, is making it clear. And then they also, when do you pause in a word? You know, when do you take a little breath in between syllables? And people don't know, really know that. They, they look in the dictionary and it shows them this. And it's pretty confusing. And sometimes they change the letters and then they got to read that one. And it gets pretty confusing. Ours is really simple. They learn all the sounds. Like when we teach them all the sounds in our reading method, which is our third concepts, okay? So our third concept is teaching all the sounds. We teach all those sounds. Well, that's 444 rules that someone in a school would be teaching the student so that they can make those sounds. And ours are in one concept. It's one time. They go through about 20 minutes and they pronounce all of them correctly. And then they go, gee, when is a vowel long or short? If I know how to pronounce it long and short based on vowels and consonants, when is it short? And so we teach them that real simply. And at the end, that's when they read. In fact, within 55 minutes, each of your students that you teach will be reading a 29 letter, uh, seven syllable, I'm sorry, 29, 20, yeah, 29 letter, uh, seven syllable word. That's a big word. We make it up. It's a total fictitious word and so they read that word and they go oh my gosh that's longer than any word i've ever seen before and that's what happens for our students is that that's why they're able to read any word they want to read immediately there is no grade level to reading and there are no long words there isn't a long word because they're all syllables so all four letter three letter syllables and they just pronounce those syllables and then they go oh concentrate and they got that word and it's a big word or or bibliography that is another big word right well they go bibliography bibliography so that's what we do you're are you a teacher they must teach students in in brazil yes i i teach private here like private i give part private lessons because the town i live at is an oil town like texas so there are a lot of American companies, such as Halliburton, Noble, some European companies as well. So most of the labor level people are trying to go into management positions, and English is mandatory if you're, if you're trying to do that. I try to work with English schools in Brazil, but their methods are too commercial. Ours is so easy. You would, you would become famous. I mean, because the group you're working with are perfect. They've already been exposed to English. They are already are speaking English as much as they can. And they want to move up in management. They need to be able to read a lot more technical stuff. And they have to be able to speak more articulately. Well, in two and a half hours after they work with you, they go back to work. I mean, you can teach them in the morning and they can go to work afternoon and they will be a different person. They're going to experience reading immediately. It's not a it's not a delayed process. And and the thought that English is hard to speak and understand and learn is true based on the way it's taught. Um, my my brother couldn't read for thirty years, and he went through college even, and he memorized everything. And when he got into a place where my mom and dad wanted him to be a lawyer, he went to law school. Well, he was only there for about a week to realize he couldn't memorize all that stuff. It was just ridiculous. So he went up to the teacher and he said, uh, this law professor, and he told me, he said, I can't memorize all this stuff. He said, I have a reading problem and this is difficult. And he says, the professor said, well, we, you don't have to. We put things in concepts and then you remember the concepts. You keep track of the concept. And he went, he never heard of that before. It was like a concept that he didn't know about, right? So um, he went home. And the next morning, woke up, and he had been studying and pushing his shoulder against the door, wanting to learn to read for 30 years. I used to, he was my, my brother, he used to sit in his room and bite his hand and pray that words would jump off the page like he thought it was for other people. He had no idea. So when he, when he discovered this reading method, he just sat down and he wrote it all out. It was like, an, it was what's called an epiphany. He just had an epiphany and just wrote this whole reading method, exactly the same one that I teach with our video. He just went through it and went right through it. And he goes, oh, my God, this makes sense. He went back to school. My brother graduated the top of his law class. And he couldn't, and he couldn't read before when he started. He didn't know how to do this at all. But he graduated the top of his law class. And so then he went, wow, who does this work with? So we searched for people. He searched for people. He thought it would be impossible to teach to find out if they would. So he found people that were reading disabled, and he found people who were uh, developmentally disabled with Down syndrome. One of the kids couldn't speak at all. And he went, blah, 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 blah. He was saying something, but he, no one could understand him.
And they were all adults. These are adult students that were living in a, in a group home. And they were going to be transferred to a state hospital because of their age and their inability to function. So my brother spent not two and a half hours with them. I mean, he did spend two and a half hours with them, but he did that 15 times. He went 15 weeks with them. And then he took them to court because they had to testify before a judge that didn't qualify. And he had a rule if they were going to stay in their group home or if they were going to go to a hospital. And they stood in front of him. And there was like surrounded by lawyers waiting to see the judge. It was not like television where you just have one case. There's multiple cases going on. And they went up and read to the judge. There wasn't a dry eye in the whole courtroom. Every big macho lawyer man standing there had tears in their eyes, including the judge. And the lawyer that opposed that, the lawyer that wanted to send them to the group home, started arguing and, and saying, oh, they don't really read. And that's, you know, blah, blah, blah. And the judge looked over his glasses at them, and he said, um, he went like this, he went, he says, Miss, he said, um, if you continue to speak, uh, I'm going to order that you go to the state hospital for a month and come back and report to me. Well, <laughs> she didn't speak anymore. And those young men and women were able to go back to the group home. They were able to go across the street without getting hit by a car, by looking at the signs and understanding. They went into the store and bought their own food with the list they made. And they came back home with that food and they prepared their own meals based on reading the, 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 uh, the cookbook. Wow. It's, it is cognitively interconnected, but I just didn't know to that level. Well, I mean, you, you personally, I mean, you personally, me, me and, and, and our, our, our wonderful host here, Robert, and of course, you talked to Linka, um, and we'll have other people that will come on and tell their story. Um, it, you will be amazed at how fluent you become, how, and, and, and I'm not putting down the way you read, but you've memorized words, and that's fine. That's how everybody has to do it. Nobody really learns a method in school. They finally just give up and just start memorizing as many words as they can. Well, think about your brain as being a computer. Well, and now it's stuffed with all those words, and other things would like to be there, but it can't be because you're memorized words. And so you just have all these memorized words. So, you know, I mean, even in your own language, you'll read differently when you read in your own language because you're no longer going to have to store. Your brain just goes, I don't need to store anymore. And so it'll dump them, in fact. It just dumps all that storage because you're no longer using it. And then so it's defragging your brain, so to speak. And then you are off to the races, uh, just switching back and forth between Portuguese and English. And it's real simple for you. And but believe me, can you imagine if you have this executive at a company like Halbert, and he comes into you in the morning at 9 o'clock, and he leaves at noon and goes back to work, and... Everything is simple for him. He could read everything. He's reading everything. In fact, in fact, he's even reading Portuguese better. And and everybody that works with us is going, whatever happened? Well, how did that happen? And he says, well, I went to, to see this guy, and I spent the morning with him, and I just came back, and I just felt different, and everything made sense. Imagine how many people you're going to get. <laughs> it's going to be huge. It's going to be huge. So we'll have to talk. Um and, and you can talk to me, and we'll give you some communication ability for you to communicate with me. I don't know how you want me to tell him how to reach me, or do you? Um, I, let's just uh, follow each other here. That should be the best way. Okay. I won't be able to talk to you right now because we're going to do this show. But I, my phone number is 858. Now you have to write it down, okay? No, no, I'll, I'll send you a link in here and just sign in. Yeah, that's a good idea. Why don't you sign in? He'll give you a link. And then you're welcome to, to contact me, and we'll talk. And uh, uh, our 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 famous host here will be helped to facilitate all that. <laughs> Love that. And um, and we'll uh, we because we Brad, have an affiliate you're, program. You're the one here saving a big a, a big uh, the day. Actually, you saved the day. So thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> but also you open yourself up to a huge, huge opportunity because we have an affiliate program. We can set you up as an affiliate and then we're going to receive money each time that you teach the reading method and you're going to receive a nice chunk of dough as well. So um, I think it can be real lucrative. And I, I love the group you're working with because you're not working with people who are without money. They're going to, they already have a job and so they can afford to. Well, to I gotta say, it's been a little rough with the barrel, the barrel price. 
Yeah. Um, now, um, Iraq just started pumping oil into the market, and it didn't go as low, as low as we thought it'd go. It's back to thirty-two dollars, and it, we every, everyone's tiptoeing around the market right now because everyone expects it to go back to fifty. That's where everything starts flowing again. But everyone right now is just surviving. But the market should go back. Do you think the actual market or the price of oil is going to go up? Well, uh, when uh, Iran got the deal and start, it will start pumping oil into the market right now, and Saudi Arabia doing what they're doing, trying to build the fracking in the U.S. It works to a certain extent because the demand, even though China is not really growing anymore. But eventually, it goes back to where it was because I can't imagine a world where people don't don't, don't eat oil. Iraq got into the market right uh, right now, I think yesterday, and it the market reacted, but not as badly as everyone thought it would. So I guess we hit the bottom. Even though the Guardian was saying twenty dollars a barrel is where it's gonna go, I don't think it will. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to go back to fifty, sixty dollars mm -hmm. because it, the demand is always. Well, Robert, you know, what that does it sets up a, a competitive system for everyone wanting to get the best job and be in the highest level in that company. Um, oh yeah. So you've got the you've got the magic wand. Yeah. I hope soon I'll, or soon. You really <laughs> do. Yeah, and it, it, it is. If you can change just that one person uh, conversation really quick um, and make them feel better and feel, make them feel important and that is actually worthy of, of having what he wants uh, with his confidence level being a little bit higher, powerful. You, and also, you can guarantee it. You can tell them, look, come see me. I'll work with you. That costs X number of yeah. dollars. Didn't work. I'll give you your money back. And that's going to be... I mean, if you ever ever give your money back, let me know. I've, I've never had to do that, but I always tell everybody, hey, if it didn't work for you, please let me know. I don't want to charge you anything if it didn't work. Uh, it just works every time. And there's a rare kind. If someone's on drugs, they can't, obviously, it's going to work. If they're taking uh, an, uh, a behavior modification drug like Ritalin, then, it, then the, the neural pathways don't fire to the next part of the brain. But other than that, it really is very, very you know they have to be able to hear you know and they have to be able to speak those are two things that are important they have to know the english alphabet they have to know their abcs um but we teach them that and and, and make that more clear but it's um it's, it you've you 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 just um pulled the bunny out of the hat for your either morning or afternoon whatever time it is um this was a good time for you to jump on with us and i i'm, I'm really glad to meet you and I'm looking forward. I really want it to happen in Brazil. I want it to happen all over the world. That's why I'm alive. I'm alive to teach the world to read. And it uh, touches my heart just to talk to you because I can just see that on the other side of you are thousands of people who want to, to excel in the world. And you're going to be the catalyst for the filter for our reading method to get to them. And, uh, that's my goal. That's my, I, do, I dream about it every morning. So Brazil, you know, and we don't have anybody in Brazil. And right now, I have, I have been, I've been thinking about Brazil because I taught some people here. But all of a sudden, you call. So it's, it's all done with mirrors. Thank you. No problem. Hey, Rod, there's the, there's the link right in the uh, chat box. Just press on it. It's this happiness uh, funnelizer. And yeah, then I just have it open right now. I'm taking a look at it. Okay, good. And just, just put the uh, – you can just put your, your name and phone number in there. Well, Skype. Put your Skype. Well, you can't put a. Yeah, you can put your Skype address in there where it says phone. Yeah, and Skype would be really good. I because that way I can see you and you can see me and and you're going to ask me a lot of questions. I, I want you to look in my eyes and see if I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, my camera is not working right now. I have to look at a camera and the mic is better, but it could be better than that. So um, what? I'm, you can't hear me very well. No, I can hear everyone well. It's just that I'm using the laptop microphone. Oh, it's working. Oh, you, right now it's working yeah, great. You're fine. I can't see you though. Yeah. Are, you guys see them? Oh, the camera's not working. No. Yeah. So awesome. 
This was supposed to be a, just a, a trial run, just to get on. Yeah, yeah. But we're glad you're here, Roger. I mean, this is great. But you know, yeah. we attract people. So you get the real us. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna be all polished in an hour, and it's like we're not even polished. Is there, is there a website? Is there a website for for the method, like for the product? Yes, you keep going when you, it, it goes right to the yes uh, method and it goes right, you keep, you sign in, it, the video actually comes in your email box and it goes through the, the method, it starts the method right away. Is that correct? Well, once he pays for it, right? Yeah, once he pays for it, all you'll right. see the, all the videos. But yeah. the video with the explanation of how it works. And yes, it works. Okay. there is a video. Yes. Yeah, there's a presentation video that we developed for you, but in regards to how it specifically works, um, you'd have to talk with me for that, give you a little more clarity. There's a, I think we have a writing there by Barry Schwartz. One, one of the things about our reading map that really adds credibility to it is that um, the University of California at San Diego has chosen our reading method and is putting on a scientific study. They're doing brain imaging because they're so impressed with what changes are taking place. They want to know what parts of the brain are changing. So there's a word called plasticity. So it's a, it's a neuroscience word that, um, that people are aware of. But in regards to actually seeing it happen um, on a brain imaging is not sure why it happens because they can't do it in a short period of time. So we do it in two and a half hours. So we're identified at plasticity, activating plasticity, and then showing major cognitive response to that plasticity, which just means learning or change in the brain in two and a half hours. And it's just it's, it's not ever happened before. So that's, they're excited about that. It'll be a um, 500 people, five year study. And then, but they're going to do a preliminary study, which they're working on right now, which will give results that will support them going forward. And they have a population and it's all, it's very, very fascinating, but that's the big deal is what's happening in the brain. What are we doing to the brain when we teach the reading method? And it was an accident. We, we didn't know. My brother didn't choose seven concepts up because of a, a reason. He just, that's all that came up for him when he wrote it down. And the neuroscientists said, oh, my God, this is incredible. You did everything right. <laughs> There's studies that support seven. And uh, and this continuation and build up. And the que next question, because after you've said be, k, de, fe, ge, and all the consonant vowel combinations and all the vowels, all the vowels, then the next question you ask is, well, okay, I got it. But when are they long? And when are they short? When is it be or ba? And they go, I don't know that. And then we go, well, let's share the next part. And then we teach you how to do that so and then but there's all these exceptions yeah well we'll give you all 42 exceptions and show you exactly what they are so that you can pronounce them like that gh sound and the th sound and the ing mm. and ious and ed ing we teach all that and that becomes really obvious in fact at that point in time when the exceptional sounds after they've already read that big word taken their walk and reviewed it they just it's like a sponge they just absorb it mm. Very nice. Yeah, this is your lucky day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I know that. See, I know that. So I mean, I'm, I'm not being psychic. I just every don't. day is lucky day. <laughs> no, this is really lucky. Day. It seems like day. that's right was, for me. Uh, every day, is lucky day. I came into this room, it was just a uh, chat room hopping, and I, I saw you guys. And I usually do it when I have some free time, but right now I really have to go. I'm glad I have your contact. And we should, we should be in touch soon. Thank you, Roger. Awesome. Rod, it is a thank pleasure you, for you, you to be here you. today. Thank you. Have a good yes. one, guys. Thank you, Roger. Bye. Appreciate bye it, Bye-bye. That was excellent. How exciting. You know, to, <laughs> to turn on Brazil and, you know, and a phone conversation or a, a, a blab. You know, I hate the word blab because my mother and father used to say, don't blab all the time. You know, you're always blabbing about this and blabbing about that. <laughs> and so I was like, I was told, don't blab, right? And so then you come up and say, yeah, I want to put you on my blab. I'm going, oh, I, I've been told not to do that. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> wow. So I would like to work with you on a couple of things uh, today. Uh, this is a trial run, everyone. We're, we're, we're having the, the, the real show here at uh, 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, 10 o'clock uh, Pacific Standard Time here today. It, it is on the reading method, and you can learn it in two and a half hours. And 
awesome uh, opportunity to jump on. Whoever is here today, um, Craig has a great story. And uh, uh, Linka here is also taken the reading method a couple of weeks ago and transformed her life um, miraculously in a couple of weeks. And so, you know, Linka, it's two and a half hours. I mean, how do you feel today compared to what it was like two weeks ago? Uh, I feel much more confident. Confidence? Yes. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. I'd like you to stop by this afternoon. Would you be able, would you do that around any time after like one thirty or 2 o'clock? Could you jump on and just um, tell the people your experience? Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. I do. Awesome. Awesome. I'd like that. Oh, like, yeah, that'd uh, be really great right for your other labs. You can have commercials. Yeah, exactly. You could. Uh, uh, this but is a great opportunity. Buy Craig <laughs> oh, there. <laughs> Jump on, Craig. We method. have an interruption here. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just take six seconds and tell you how to change your life. <laughs> great idea. <laughs> great idea. So, I also, Craig, I would like to use this opportunity to uh, to do an intro. Um, I think I want to do the intro with you and I. So, Linka, um, I want to do a 30-second intro with you, Craig, and I want to do a minute and a half intro with you. So if we can get a clock and sync them and we get to uh, have a conversation with the two of us on an intro. Uh, like an intro to a video. So we're briefly describing in 30 seconds what everything is about. Sure. That'd be good. Okay. okay. That would be really you good. You don't want to give me that long 30 seconds. So I, I can... No. I don't, I don't want you to go over. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. no. I'll, I'll be really conscious of it. I mean, uh, being shy and introverted, and I so appreciate you drawing me out because I normally have nothing to say, but you have really done a good job of... Um, making me feel comfortable and speaking awkwardly, of course, but uh, thank you. That's okay. You know, I, I, once you're here, it's like you're an amazing um, person to have on a panel because mm. you can, you talk, you keep talking. And yes, I can interject, but the point is you're bringing out that content that people <laughs> know, love, and trust. And that's, that's how they, uh, we uh, what I'm recognizing, I bring you on, we're going to have conversations. Yes. Because you, you, you got a mouth and you use it. And I'm being blunt. It's called being, really I'm blunt. engaging. You're engaging. There exactly. You that's huge. You yeah. know, that's huge. You may have somehow whatever I got to do to whatever we got to do to get you really used to jumping on and having fun doing that. It worked. It worked. I'm, I'm on my computer right now. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, before we never could get on the computer just... I, I did the right thing and it just, I went on blog uh, yeah. and then you gave, you said you're up. I've clicked on it and poof, I'm up. Yep. So we're going to do a lot more of these. We're going to jump on and just get on and keep doing that. Then it's easier. Once we're on, we get people fl coming, flocking to us. Yeah, good. They flock to us you know? because you have that. It's rich and people do want to transform their lives. They do want to dream. They do want to make that a possibility. They do want to make... And they want to hear what you are because it's a gift to them. It's a gift to their hearts or their souls that they can communicate and touch so many millions of people themselves. Well, you know, it's called fun flocking. They're flock. They're enjoying their flocking, you know, to be able to fly in and, and, and experience it and fly out and take it with them. Ah, yes, voila. yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you thought I was going to make a nasty comment. I wasn't. I was really sincere. No, you're good. I like that. <laughs> okay, let's do the 30 second uh, whatever. 30 seconds. So I'm going to have Linka. I'm going to need you to jump off. Okay. Come back on at, one, at 1 30. I jump out. With yep. You. Uh, I'll kick you off okay. and then. And then come back at one thirty <laughs> Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> it's just going to be Craig, it's just going to be Craig and I, and we're going to do a thirty second commercial, and then we'll do a minute and a half to two minutes. We're not really caring how that one really works, but that we'll, if we have to, we'll do it a couple of times. Appreciate you, Linka. Come and see, but come and see me again at one thirty. I appreciate all the hard uh, effort that you've put in, and um, and, okay, you look great, and you look great. And you look great. 
You really look you're, you're like awesome. beautiful, man. You are, you are gorgeous. Today is your gorgeous you. day, yeah. Yes, every day it is. <laughs> every day it is. I, I, I agree, I know. You know, that's, have you noticed that, Robert? If you say to a woman, you look really beautiful today, you know what they say? Oh, would I look like dog's poop yesterday? I mean, they want to know. <laughs> you're going, no, honey, I'm no, going to really like, tell you how beautiful no. you're looking today. And say, I know, but what about yesterday? You didn't well, say yesterday, yesterday. Well, it's like you're a little. You're looking better today. And then you don't. Even, don't no, no, no. Looking. You're in trouble. Don't say that. You say you know. <laughs> don't say that. One. No, what you, what you say is I was. I meant to tell you that every day this week, and I, I like finally got the courage. Every moment. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. I finally got yeah. the courage. Yeah. Good. Boy, we Wait till tomorrow and see what I have courage. <laughs> <laughs> Getting more courage by the minute. By the second. By the second. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, yes. Let, okay, so let's do it. Leica, okay. jump off. See you at 1.30. Okay, bye Blessings bye. to you. Bye-bye. 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 Okay, I... Oh, I got to kick you. Let me yes, see if, I, you, if you're you not getting... Yes, you have to because yeah. I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> I do, but it's nothing happened. <laughs> There's a little, uh, a little yeah, X, to an X on top of it. I there, there is an X, but <laughs> yeah. Well, that's okay. We'll get it handled here. Just one second. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey, by the way, that teeth whitener you're using is really working. <laughs> it, it mine? <laughs> Yours isn't working. No, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> Hey, great tie. Really nice tie. Did you? Well, you know what? You must have got that in California. I'm guessing. Actually, I did. You would never believe how I got this tie. <laughs> oh, you don't want to know. I, I, I've, I've, I've heard stories about ties before. Uh, yeah, ties you, come. Did you tie one on? I, I got. I did tie one on in the in the during the day. I needed a tie really bad because I was going to this meeting. Yeah. And uh, so I, I forget what it was. I walked in, and then I, 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 I had this coupon. What well, used the coupon? And the next thing, it, it rang up. It was free. A forty dollar tie for free. <laughs> wow, that's really yeah. good. Yeah. One time I was, I was in Chicago and I was going to this event, and then the two people told me, "Oh, you have to wear a sport coat and tie." I went, "Oh shoot, I didn't bring a sport coat and tie." But I mean, they wouldn't have met you, and I was the speaker, so um, it was real hot, and so I wasn't going to wear a sport coat and tie. So they dropped by a, a this thrift store, and I walked in, and for fifteen dollars, I got this five hundred dollar Gucci coat. <laughs> <laughs> and then a couple of ties for five bucks. I mean, for 25 bucks, I walked out there and I looked like, you know, the man from, you know, from uh, GQ. It was cool. I still have that. Coat. I love that coat. I mean, it was a beautiful coat. $15. That was amazing. That's a, yeah. I, I mean, it's it. Who would want to buy yeah, anything well. in a real store when you can go to the, the to a, a thrift store or a, or a Goodwill? Interesting thought, though. I, mean, I wanted to give you an interesting philosophy about buying things at off the rack in a, in a thrift store. Those clothes, someone went into a real store and went through the whole rack and picked the best one on the rack and bought it and then wore it for a short period of time. And then they have now donated it for some reason to Salvation Army or Goodwill or to a thrift store. So it's already gone through a process of a selection of being the best on the rack by somebody's opinion. So if, if they, yeah. so if they have, you know, and most people have fairly good taste, and then even three or four people help them to buy this coat. Sometimes it, if it was a sport coat, it would be for a wedding and people are helping them. It's a big deal. They found the one, right? Where you're getting to buy the real one, the, 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 the one that they picked, and you're paying $15. So why would anybody, and, and if you, you know, they don't want it to be too soiled, but you just take it to the, it'll cost you more to clean it than to buy it. That's yeah, true, and then it's perfect, and so you 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 you've gotten a great deal. So that I I actually don't own any clothes from other than thrift stores. So we've got we've got uh, thirty minutes before. Okay, let's let's line. do it. I, I can do it. You ready? Are right, you you go first, and I'll go second. Okay. Hmm. So let's set up the context of it. Uh, we're going to talk about the universal reading method, and. Uh, it's the intro, and we want to get into the minds. Okay, 
I, we got to we want to uh, my my first uh, thought here is to get into the question and uh, create that space in someone's mind to be able to do that. So I'll edit it out after this. Okay. I have, I, you know, uh, I went to CEO space. You know oh, what? Okay. So I've I developed a snap that's really good. And, oh, you do? And oh, I've gone good. through a whole process of developing a snap. So okay. I have, I have a snap for you. All right. Let me, then good. I'm going to, I'll, I'll, I'll just start it out and then I'm going to introduce you and you take it right away. Okay. 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 Right. All, right. All right. Just so I know where I'm at when I edit it. Three, two. Hi, this is Robert Allen McRae, and I'm here with Craig Collins. The universal reading method has changed many lives, and you can be changed too. I'm going to let Craig just really get in depth about what it takes to live your dream. Craig, take it away. Hello, Robert. Thank you for interviewing me today. Um, many people don't realize that there's 90 million adults in the United States who are functionally illiterate. 90 million out of 337 million people in the United States, 90 million adults are unable to read, fourth grade level. And I wonder 50, how many people listening to this know that. That's a good question. I don't know. I, 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 I didn't know it. I was just impressed that we could teach people to read. But anyway, 51% of the students who are exiting high school, even the people who are graduating from high school, are doing so with a fourth grade reading level. That means that when they go to the refrigerator, they can pick out the milk. But if they saw the word milk on a piece of paper, they might not be able to read that word. So 51%. So that's a huge number of people. Maybe over half the population of the United States are functionally illiterate. So what does that mean? It means that they can't get a job, you know, because they have to fill out that application. They have trouble getting a driver's license because they've got to go take that test. Um, there's a many, many, they, they have trouble going to a store and picking up their food. It takes forever. They go visit a friend and they, it's going to a party. They're all dressed up, ready to go, but they've got these instructions on a piece of paper. And they go to each sign and, and look at the sign and compare what they've got on the piece of paper with the with the letters on the sign and go, oh my gosh, that's the wrong sign. And they keep driving along and, you know, an hour later they get to the party, it's half over or they, or they give up. They just get frustrated and go home. So what's the possibility of changing this, this, this reading method, this issue that is going on in someone's mind about what it would take? So why would anyone wait? Because it's a really quick you can really this process actually helps both sides it connects both sides of the hemispheres of your brain and we could do it in two and a half hours that's that that's the the big deal you know is that this transformation can happen in two and a half hours the universal reading method of which we've developed our, our online universal reading method which makes it available all over the world anyone's got a computer or an ipad or even i think on their phone and um it's so, it's so what's really awesome here is that we need to just let people understand that they can get this in two and a half hours. So click the link below and put your name, phone number, and email address in right now. And we'll be glad to talk to you. You'll get the reading method and Go you'll be it. able to – yes, thank you. Great. So – Good, awesome. That was a long one. We didn't do the thirty-second one. No, if you, if you, if if I can say it without being interrupted, I can say it in in, in twenty-seven seconds. But if you ask me a question, it takes me off my because it's a script. Uh, okay, so I get so when you ask if you ask me a question, then I go and answer your question because we're trying to be cordial in front of everybody. And we get right. along, right? But um, let me just tell you my 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 thing real quickly. Let me just do it for you real quickly, okay? Okay, this guy, three, you wanna, yeah, I just want to get it down, and I just say, okay. Craig, tell me, well, it's going to be 30 seconds, I'm going to say, Craig, tell me about the universal reading method, okay, I'll do that, okay? Okay. Three, two, one, hi, Robert Allen McRae here with Craig Collins on the universal reading method. Go ahead, Craig, tell us a little bit about that. You know, Robert, uh, not a lot of people are aware that there are 90 million adults in the United States who cannot read. 
90 million adults. Now, out of 337 million uh, people in the United States, 90 million are unable to read English. 51% of the kids coming out of high school are coming out at a fourth grade level. And we de developed the universal reading method. My brother couldn't read when he was until he was 30 years old, and all of a sudden he had an epiphany, and this all kind of downloaded for him. So we're teaching people to read in two and a half hours, and we're teaching every type of person who has been diagnosed with a reading challenge, autistic people, people with uh, Asperger's sy syndrome, people who are dyslexic, um, people who have fallen through the cracks, people who have been in wars and had PTSD or ADHD. So it's an incredible, credible process that we are so excited to have online. And I think you're going to tell people exactly how to access. And I look forward yes. to talking to you. You know what? Absolutely. So there is a link. So please sign in, put your name in, phone number, and email address so we have a way of t communicating with you. Thank you. I look forward to talking to you. Bye. Woohoo! So I don't know if that did go over 30 seconds or not. Um, oh, if I can it won't. The clock. Yeah, Twitter will not accept it if it's over 30 seconds. Yeah, right, right. Oh, okay. So uh, let me do one. Let's do one more. And if you see me put up this finger, you have 10 seconds left, okay? Because I, I, I've, got, I've got to get it close to that. Let's put it that way. And I'm going to put a timer on it this time. I know it's kind of weird, but it's the only way I can get it accurate. <laughs> no, that's cool. Um, okay. All right. So let me find a way to get to the clock. All right. Here we go. 36, 37, 38. All right, I'll count down to, and then I'll hold my finger up. That's 10 seconds left. <laughs> this way I can, I don't have to edit so much. <laughs> I just, just tricks, so you're in my That's editing. Great, great, great. <laughs> okay, three, two. Okay, three, two. Hi, Robert Allen McRae here. I'm here with Craig Collins on the Universal Reading Method. Craig, tell us why it is so important for us to be reading today. In the United States right now, there are 90 million adults in the United States who cannot read, who are functionally illiterate. 51% of the kids coming out of high school are coming out at a fourth grade level, meaning they can't go forward. You're going to meet them on the street instead of meeting them in a college or, or in a classroom. We've developed the universal reading method. My brother could not read until he was about 30 years old, and he developed the reading method, and it is absolutely incredible. We teach people to read in two and a half hours, only two and a half hours, one time. We offer it to, for you to, to read, to, to learn it often. Uh, right. Awesome. The, put your name and number in below, and let us have an opportunity to talk to you. Name, phone number, and email address. Thanks. Okay, I can do that again without me making a mistake. But we were we were only at twenty seconds when I made a mistake. <laughs> You're not. You didn't make it. You're getting better. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, here we go. Three, two. Hi, Robert Ellen McRae here with Craig Collins on the Universal Reading Method, and Craig. And his brother has developed a reading method that you can learn this in two and a half hours. Craig, tell us a little bit about that. You know, a lot of people don't know, Robert, that there are 90 million adults in the United States who are challenged with reading. They're what's called functionally illiterate. And 51% of the kids coming out of high school today are coming out at a fourth grade reading level, meaning that they can't read the word milk unless it's on a milk carton. So we have developed, my brother, who couldn't read for 30 years, has developed the universal reading method. And we have been teaching the universal reading method to students all over the world in two and a half hours. So I really awesome. invite all of you to become. Put your name and number in below so we have a way of talking to you. Thanks. Have a wonderful day. You got to look at the screen. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, I'm Somehow sorry. Somehow we've got to – yeah, because you're looking down after I started talking. It's I'm like, sorry. Yeah. Uh, but, I'm sorry. I was looking at my watch to see the time. Let me put my watch up here and I can see yeah. it. Um, I just have yeah. to get it within 30 seconds. Of, otherwise, we keep doing it until it, we – if we go over, I can't deal with – I, I have to you. throw that one away. I understand. Okay. Because it's just YouTube, and I got to get it to everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cool. Okay. Um, at 42, we have 15 minutes before that noon. Um, so let's do one, oh, one, one, one more time. Okay. Yeah. Three. All right. All right. Let me just do it here. <laughs> Three, two. Hi, Robert Allen McRae here with Craig Collins. Craig, you – and your brother have discovered the universal reading method. You've developed it. You've treat, You've taught it all around the world. Hey, tell us a little bit about it. Well, Robert, you know, a lot of people don't, uh, don't realize that there are 90 million adults in the United States who are functionally illiterate, and they have terrible time reading. And that 51% of the kids coming out of high school right now are coming out at a fourth grade level. So we got a big problem. So my brother, Doug, who couldn't read for 30 years, had an epiphany, and he downloaded this reading method and wrote it down. And we've been teaching students for the last 10 years. And I've traveled all over the world doing so. And I had the most amazing, amazing experience with the universal reading method. Awesome. Hey, put your name and number in below so we have a way of contacting you. Just click on the link below. Thanks. See you there. Thank you. I should do it. All right. Good. Um, okay. So that was plenty. I mean, that was 28 seconds. I'm looking at my watch. So that was like under 30 seconds. So that was good. Did you like, I like that one. Did you I like, like that, that one? That was good. That was good. Yeah. It was simple, okay. sweet, and to yep. the point. And we could do a couple um, more, you know, afterwards because when we keep, it would get better. <laughs> now, what are the things, because I think we've got five seconds. And one of the things that I've been impressed with when they do something like that is that there'll be music that would come on. Yeah, I do. And, I want to put music. And then, on. and then the people are talking to each other. Okay, so I talk to you, and you you lean towards your your left. I turn towards to my left, and it's quiet. We we don't talk. We're just and we just are laughing and enjoying each other. So it shows that we are connected. Um, and I don't know with the, with this blab, but, but, but um, it's always I'm always impressed that um, that when it's done, that the people just don't go stoic. They actually start you know, can't help me. What, well, Craig would tell me that. And yeah, look, in, look like, 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 like what I said yeah. made you interested, right? Yeah, yeah. Say, I'm interested in your you are interested exactly. in you, so therefore we have we have endorsed endorsed each other. Beautiful. I love that. Uh, did we did we do that in the last one? Um, no, but well, I mean, a little bit. I mean, we, we, we looked at each other and smiled, but we were being quiet because we were in at the end, but, I was not, but we had five seconds. So we did that for five seconds. So you want um, to do it one more time? Yeah, we can do that if you want to do that. I, I like that. Okay. So, Hold on a okay. Tell me, uh, tell me when you want to go. No, I'm ready. Go ahead. All right. <clears throat> Three, two. Hi, Robert Allen McRae here with Craig Collins with the Universal Reading Method. Craig and his brother developed a reading method that absolutely can transform your life in two and a half hours. Can you tell us a little bit about that, Craig? Thank you, Robert. Yes, uh, there are 90 million adults in the United States who are functionally illiterate. Most people don't know that. That's the big deal, a big number of people. Out of 337 million people in the United States, 51% of the kids coming out of high school are coming out at a fourth grade reading level. That means they're not going to get a job. That means they're going to be really, really stuck. Okay, so my brother Doug, who had the same problem, he couldn't read until he was about 30 years old, discovered the universal reading method. He just had an epiphany and it just came down to him. He wrote it out. And we've been teaching it across all over the world, across the United States, up into Canada and the UK. It's an amazing, amazing experience. Wow, Craig. Two and a half hours. Put your name and number in below. It's Amazing. Okay, you can put your name, phone number, and email address, and we have a way of contacting you. Thanks, Craig. Okay, I went forty seconds. I talked too long. <laughs>
That's okay. Still, I mean, it was just, still a good one. <laughs> what happens to me is I get bored with saying the same thing. It's always happened to me. I, I never say the same thing. This you know, the same. Okay. Way, I like it I, to be original. I just get I get yeah. bored out. Of it. We yeah. still need a thirty second one. We have an older one, but we have a good. We have a forty second one that we can use in different ways. So okay, cool. Let's get ready for this one. Let's take a. Uh, we're gonna have to take ten minutes here. You have to get off and get back on. Why? Because you cannot be on this one because this is not the blab we're on. <laughs> this is a test. <laughs> oh, I hate that. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna get what off. am I going to do? What will I do? You have to get off and I'll send you the link right now. No, no, no. no. I want to do the link. I want to go to the blab and then where you come up and it says who you are. Mm. I want to click on that. How do I do that? Well, you thought you were on. You're not on. You know, you know, you, we're on a trial blab. Right, I understand. So I want to go to blab. Yep. How do I go to blab and then see your picture that says on the air mm -hmm. and then go to that. I want to go back to that, to that mm. thing. Wow. Maybe I can just go back with the arrows because I was on it on one that had all the, the, um, 